Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm the Jacobian Dev and in this video I'll be going through a wall finishes plugin you can use in Revit to automate the creation of wall finishes in your projects. To get started, I'll navigate to the Jacobian Dev tab where I've got two wall finish commands, pick and Excel. I'll select the Excel option. This opens a dialog box displaying all the rooms in the project along with the room number, level, the wall finishes which contains all the walls in the project, the wall heights and the status to see if the wall finish was successfully added. You can also filter the rooms by level. To add the wall finishes, I'll start by selecting on all the rooms I want to add the wall finish to. Next in the wall finishes drop down, I'll select the different wall finishes. I'll then key in all the wall height values. Once that's done, I'll select Create to create the wall finishes. I'll then navigate to a 3D view to view the created wall finishes. As you can see, the wall finishes were successfully added. Back in the UI form, I can also double click on the room name or room number to isolate the selected room. This can help identify any errors with the wall finish. By cycling through the rooms, I can then check if there were any potential errors when the wall finish was added. I can then check if the walls were joined correctly. Seeing as this can take time to assign a wall finish for each individual room, there is an option to export all the rooms from the project or by level to an Excel spreadsheet. The spreadsheet can then be modified with all the wall finish and wall height values and imported back. I'll select on download Excel room template. Here I can export all the rooms or export by level. I'll select level 1 and save the template to the downloads folder. The file can then be modified with all the finish and height values. You can then import the file back into Revit and create the desired wall finishes in your project. Once that's done, I'll then navigate to the 3D view and as we can see, the wall finishes were successfully added. Another option is the pick rooms command which can add wall finishes in any planned view. I'll select on the pick command. I'll then navigate to the level 1 floor plan view. Next, I'll select the wall type and height value. I'll then proceed to select all the rooms I want to apply the wall finish to and click finish. And as we can see, the wall finishes get added accordingly. To download the plugin installer, please follow the link to the Jacobian Dev site where you will be required to sign up by creating an account. You can then navigate to the Revit plugins page where you can download the plugin installer. That should be it for this video. I've added all the links in the description. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, please remember to like, share and subscribe.